All right, so I was gonna make a show to you. Or, <laughs> ooh, man, it is early in the morning. Uh, I was gonna make a video here on just quickly how to add a database to a project, and I'll show a couple different ways to add database projects here. Here is just like a basic console application, and uh, basically all you're going to do is, like, say this is your project. You would right-click on your project here in Visual Studio, and you would add and it's not showing up where I want it to, so I'm going to move this way over. So you'd hit Add, and then you would say New Item. And to pull up this little uh, prompt here, uh, I would go to Data in my left-hand column here. And depending on what you want to add, you may just want to add a data set. You may want to add an entity model, uh, depending on what, with, with what you're working with, as far as <clears throat> types of ways to store your data and information. Um, some people just use just XML files for like a config file, or if you're just reading and writing for basic input for like XML or for UML designs and things like that. So, um, in this case, we're just going to add a service based database because this is the most common that you probably would add if you weren't already just connecting to one by yourself. And so, um, you can see down here, it wants me to give it a name, and usually any basic tutorial, I just give it, just leave it named database.mdf, and I think MDF stands for Master Database File, but I'm not entirely sure, I should really look that up. And then Visual Studio is going to try to crank some code out here as far as trying to compile the information necessary for building the database. So that's going to be like your security features, your folder set up for like your triggers. Um, you can see here I made like a nice little log for us to read so you can see when connections are coming and going and who's connecting. So, And now that you have this database here, um, I'm going to go to view at the top and uh, and then I'm going to, let's see, there is a thing called a server explorer. I'm just going to pin that there really quick and move this back over. And then I can look at <clears throat> then I can look at my data bit connections here for this project and we can see we now have a database.mdf meaning that that is a connection that's available for this project. Now let's say that I'm going to close this solution out really quick and maybe I'll come back to it here. So I'm going to do a new project. And let's say that I have a web project here. And let's say it's just, let's say it's a web forms project. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do the name or anything like that. Okay, it looks like it's finally built this project here. It's, sorry, it does take a little bit when you first build a web project. Um, uh, the, you can see it's built a lot of data and information. So in this case here, um, I'm going to open up my server explorer which is way down at the bottom here I'm gonna pin it up <coughs> again you can see right now we have no data connections despite the fact that before we did in a different project so in this case here you would do a similar thing where you would right click on your project and again I see I have to drag this over you have to right click on this project hit add and new item and now you can see, because we're in web design, we have a stupid amount of uh, access things that we could pick. But in this case, again, we're still going to go to data. We're still going to add a database. I'm still going to name it database MDF. I'm going to hit add. Um, so uh, if you're not adding this to your app data folder, which is typically where this is where it would go, you will get this fun little prompt, and it will inform you that, hey, uh, you're trying to add a specialized MDF file that we noticed as a type of database. Do you want us to put this in the app data folder? So if you don't already add it to this folder yourself, you will get this prompt. And I just hit yes. So it's going to, again, do its little magic in building the uh, structure for building the database. And this one, for some reason, was a little bit quicker, but that's all good. So there you go. So now you can see a data connection popped up. Uh, database. And if, um, you know, really quick, you can see uh, there's no tables really available yet. There shouldn't be any views, I don't believe. There might be a couple stored procedures available in this database. Um, it's taking a minute here, but just to show you something else really quick, that in your web config file here, you'll have a thing called connection strings, 
uh, which is actually how data connections are set up. So right now, uh, just because it's called default connection, it just says database MDF. But if I were to start adding database connection strings to this, this isn't parsed very well for you guys to see, but if I started adding database connections here, you would start seeing them pop up over here, and I'll do that in a different video. But for right now, that's the basics. And you would do this exact same procedure in an MVC um, if you were to start adding a database. So, all right, that concludes this video.